The ancient Chinese philosopher once said, if there is to be peace in the world, there must be peace in the nations. If there is to be peace in the nations, there must be peace in the cities. And if there is to be peace in the cities, there must be peace in the neighborhoods. If there is to be peace in the neighborhoods, there must be peace in the families. If there is to be peace in the families, there must be peace in the individuals. And if there is to be peace in the individuals, there must be peace in the heart. So today is Tuesday, September 20th, 2011, <clears throat> and it is almost midnight, which will make it Wednesday, September 21st, and that is International Peace Day recognized by the UN. So I've come back to my hometown of Peaceburg to celebrate this event and I'm very excited. There's going to be a 24 hour peace vigil. And I stand, and a lot of other events as well. And I stand behind this beautiful map of our, of our planet Earth. And I want you to imagine something with me. There's a movie called The Day the Earth Stood Still, and it had a really profound effect on me when I saw it, because in that movie, there's a point where everything just kind of stands still on the whole planet. All machinery stops. Everyone just comes to a grinding halt. You know, people are rushing down the street, hustle, bustle, bustle, and everyone's just like, pause button. And everyone just kind of looks up at the sky and feels this immense change. I just want you to imagine what if that were to happen tomorrow? Just imagine what it would be like if tomorrow you woke up and knew that there was peace actually on our planet. This tiny little speck flo sp floating in space our spaceship that we call earth just imagine if if tomorrow all the wars just came to a grinding halt every single soldier just laid down their weapons started crying knowing what they had done knowing what they were a part of just imagine if all these these boundaries between all the countries were just erased and we actually saw ourselves as one unified species as part of a an enormous ecosystem on this gigantic yet tiny and fragile planet. Just imagine that tomorrow peace would actually manifest on planet Earth. Just entertain it in your mind. Feel it in your body what it would feel like. If all the trauma that we are wrecking on the planet just stopped just imagine what that would feel like and so you may ask how can we actually achieve peace on planet earth and I believe that it is up to each and every one of us to figure out how we can best increase the peace. And we each have a tiny little peaceful puzzle piece. And so I encourage you to always remember to do what you can 
where you are with what you have that's what it all comes down to that's all you can do but that's also the most you can do do what you can where you are with what you have and there's infinite potential solutions I encourage you to do whatever excites you whatever you see as the solution do that whatever whatever you believe is the way to achieve a peaceful world do it and be up to it all the time don't let other people tell you it's the wrong thing to do because you know that's the right thing to do so tomorrow please celebrate International Peace Day and uh, I know I'm putting this out a little bit late you can celebrate International Peace Day every day but I challenge and encourage you to remember those who've come before you and remember those who will come after you and what can you accomplish in your tiny little speck of time on this tiny little planet that's just floating in space how will you contribute your peaceful puzzle piece